Hello friends, this is Prakash from Logol and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share a trick to you. The trick is all about to saving multiple file format from Illustrator in just one go. You may have uh, saved multiple format like AI, uh, EPS, uh, PNG, JPEG and PDF file one by one and investing too much amount of time in it when it comes to provide the final file to the client. So what if uh, if we are able to save all file format on just one click in just a few seconds so guys i'm gonna teach you the same trick right now if you didn't subscribe my channel your request to subscribe my channel if you want to get more updated videos if you find this video very useful to you don't forget to give a like so let's start so friends you can see on the screen i have a logo i want to save this logo as a png jpg and other file formats that i talked about so so what i want to do is i just want to show you how much amount of time uh, it's gonna take if we save all the file format one by one so i'm gonna uh, put a, a stopwatch in the right side of uh, illustrator and then we'll start so friends you can see on the screen i have uh, set up uh, stopwatch in the right side so I'm gonna save file one by one then I will check how much time it's gonna take okay let's start AI format so I'm gonna save one more other, other format that is PDF in the same folder okay so I'm gonna save EPS file okay in the same folder okay I need to save PNG or uh, so let's go to the export export as so here I'm gonna choose JPG first okay in the same folder export so last format that is PNG let's choose the PNG okay now save it as a PNG format okay I'm gonna pause this so at least uh, it took uh, one minute okay so let's save this whole amount of time that actually we invested in saving the file one 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 by one so so let's start that trick what we have to do is actually uh, there's a option called action so we have to create an action uh, that action help us to record each and everything we uh, does in illustrator so that is the uh, uh, awesome uh, option in the illustrator mm -hmm. so many time i use so i just want you to also use the same option through which you can create multiple uh, repetitive tasks uh, very easy mm -hmm. so let's create an action to make it easy so we have to come to um, window here we can choose actions so here you can see the dialog box open on the screen so if you go and check already predefined op options actions sorry so by default you can see default action uh, defined by illustrator so you can check go and check and these are the action i just defined by myself for me so i'm going to create one more action to export multiple file format so what we have to do is we have to come at the bottom here you can choose create new action just click on that now it is prompting you to give the name so it's gonna be export export multiple formats okay this is gonna be uh, our action name so here below it is asking where you want to uh, save your uh, action so I want my action to be saved in the folder already defined by me here you can see so now it is asking for if you really want to set this action on function key so you can make a shortcut so I would like to and let's check which function key is free for me available for me so I would like to use F3 with shift and control key okay F3 with shift and control key whichever key that is feasible to you can go and use 
so color doesn't matter so now i have to click on the record button so that the recording could be started now recording has been started and i have to make sure i have to perform only those tasks which uh, need to be performed okay so i have to save all the file format one by one so while doing so recording will be going on so let's save first so on desktop i'm gonna save in this folder one first let's save it as a okay let's make it to already file <laughs> already there are uh, so many files in that folder so i don't want them to be replaced or messed i don't want them to be uh, messed up so two is okay ai file okay ai so now i'm gonna save save as it has a eps so two eps okay you can see on the screen everything is being recorded you can see okay now we are going to save as a pdf so let's do it pdf okay whatever uh, you want you want high quality you can set it now let's save as a png okay on the save folder export as a png make sure you are uh, setting a transparent background okay and then we lastly uh, we need to go for export as a jpeg so jpg file let's choose jpg file here it is so okay here we go so we have saved all the file format you can see uh, everything which we done has been recorded everything which we done have been recorded over here now we don't need to move the logo otherwise that will also be in recording so now it's time to stop the recording we stop it okay so now what we have to do is we have to start uh, this action now we want this file to be saved on one click so action is now ready so what we have to do is so friends you can see on the screen i have already set up this clock stopwatch over here so let's refresh this reset this okay i just want to check how much uh, time is gonna take okay action so let's start this and come come over here now we have to press ctrl shift f3 so the process has been started you can see that's all i think uh, i delayed to <laughs> click on this uh, the process already was done okay uh, i think uh, if i check uh, it took just uh, five to six seconds i think maybe uh, less than that okay uh, whatever it will be uh, whatever it is okay the good thing is we are able to save file on just one click so let's check where are those files which uh, just uh, have been saved let's uh, go to that location so friends you can see here in this folder we have saved our file last time so same location was recorded so on the same location illustrator uh, ha uh, has saved all the file you can see So that's all for this video. So friend, I hope you like this video. If you want this video to be useful to you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe my channel right now if you didn't subscribe. So just let me know what you have learned from this video by commenting the comment box down there. And I'm gonna see you in the next video very soon with new tips. So bye.